the value or lack thereof of IT certifications. There's been a lot of discussion in the comments on the couple of the videos about the value of different degree programs and of certifications. So I thought I would address certifications first. Back when I got certified as a Microsoft Certified Engineer, the test was really a way to test whether your experience had gotten you to the point that you should have a certification, as opposed to the way it works now of most people take the tests based on classwork and memorizing guides and then they go out and work in order to get the experience. That works kind of backwards because the advantage of the certification is really this is the right way to do something in a theoretically perfect environment. Watch the video on green fields that I just did. But the truth is most of us don't work in green fields. We work in real deployments. And in real deployments, you often have to trade off between best practices and possible practices. For example, Microsoft would say that their best practices requires that you deploy IPsec across your entire network, which is great if you're running all Microsoft hardware under you know, not necessarily Microsoft made the hardware, but Microsoft operating systems on your hardware and have Cisco equipment or some other managed network equipment so that you can really do everything IPsec is supposed to do. But the truth is that small and medium businesses often have unmanaged switches and want to run devices that aren't always owned by the corporation. In a world where you're bringing your own hardware and you have unmanaged switches, IPsec gets in the way. It slows things down because you have to make exceptions for every device on the network. And your unmanaged switches mean that when somebody connects something to that unmanaged switch that's not an approved device and you turn their port off, you're turning off all of the devices on that switch. So it's a horrible thing in certain instances. And a good IT person will come to me and say, this is what we ought to be doing. We ought to be running IPsec because it's the most secure way to manage our network. But in reality, we can't run IPsec because of the administrative headaches, the number of exceptions we're going to have to make on our network, and because we want to be able to have people bring their own device to our network. This is what an, a valuable person is going to be able to do for me is not just tell me what is the right thing, but what is the thing that we can actually implement. Certifications won't teach you that. And that's experience that you have to get from the real world. So I'm always happier looking at somebody who has had a lot of experience and then gets a certification. If you have 50 certifications on your resume, you're going to the bottom of my pile. And that's because if you have a whole bunch of certifications, it means you haven't taken the time to actually get the depth of experience that you need in any of the areas. There are some exceptions. If you, you know, have every certification from Novell, and Novell has something like 20 of the things, I could say, yes, this person knows their Novell hard they are a great person to be working with. They're going to know the right thing to do and they're going to know how to implement it in every scenario. Where I tend to want my certifications is not in my people that have boots on the ground, but in my sales staff. Because in a sales organization, that certification means that you understand all of the terminology. And the terminology is often more important when you're selling a product than when you're deploying the product. Knowing that you are working with a level three, yeah, I'm tongue tied, I'm not even gonna get it out right. Knowing that you're working with a layer three switch or a layer two switch or a layer one switch or a virtual private network versus a VLAN is often less important for the person who is supporting a network than the person who sold the network or is administering the network.
For example, I could have a perfectly great person who understands everything about group policy objects and network administration from the Windows environment and not have to have them know anything about Novell switches and the layers of a network or how to calculate a subnet mask. That are all things that would be great if they came from the certification and you know, they would understand those things. But in truth, I don't generally need them on a day to day basis. But in a salesperson, often what I need is someone who can look the customer in the eye and rattle off the terminology correctly every time about, yes, our product works with your layer three switches and is VLAN aware, so it does the following things. But because of some limitations, we only support subnet masks that up to one octet, not three. And those are the kinds of things that come from certification and not from necessarily implementation. So certification, great if you're going into engineering sales, get a lot of them, speak the lingo, know the stuff, you'll do great. Applying for an IT position, make sure that you have done the necessary experience stuff, work on getting your certification as you get the experience. It'll help make the certification mean more to you as well, and it'll be a more educational experience. Don't get lots of certifications just to get lots of certifications. Generally, if you're looking to get certified, look for a Microsoft certification, a Novell certification, and possibly a project slash product management position. Get certified in Scrum or Agile or one of the other management styles to prove that you have the experience to make sure that a project runs smoothly. But as long as you've got a software cert, a hardware cert, and a management cert, you're going to make it through to the next round of, in my interview process at least, to, from submitting a resume to getting that phone call. And that's what you're really looking for in certifications. No one is going to promote you to you know, senior VP of engineering based on your certifications. That's coming from your experience. So that's where I stand on certifications versus experience. And we'll do one later on education.